Hello, welcome here to SRL Minds TV. It's round 10 here, live at Barlow Park. The Perth Hogs here today, coming up against the Cairns Firehawks. It's a fight. The Hogs here looking to get their first win of the season. I'm Eddie Oliver, joined by the SRL Minds Com Commissioner, William K. It's a big game for both teams here. The Cairns Firehawks looking for their first win of the season. I'm sorry, the Hogs looking for their first win of the season. Uh, to break their 0-7 record, they won't, don't want to go down as an 0-8. The first team to ever do that losing streak. The Cairns Firehawks looking to secure their place in the grand final. It's now or never. Because uh, if the Bathurst Blue Tongues or the Swarm win by a big enough margin, they may just knock the Firehawks out of the top spot and go straight to the grand final. Uh, it's going to be an interesting one to see. And a lot riding on the line for both teams here. The Hogs, the Pride, the Firehawks, the Grand Final. Berkeley gets us under. Daly with the return there up to the 15. And he dummy half to Anderson and then it goes to the Lippy. Then my cousin straight through. Passes there to Gould. And then that's a turnover there for the Firehawks. Yeah, that's an awkward pass there and it wasn't a good one. The Firehawks in good attacking position here. Uh, inside their own opposition's 30. They may be under hot water here, the Hogs. Jackson there. What a game this is. Everything's on the line for both teams. Looking for the first win of the season. Up to the 10 there, the Firehawks. In the dummy half, Galaxy. Going left. Goes out here to Berkeley. Berkeley. Fifth tackle here, 23 gained. He's going to drive there for some late meters. In the pocket here. Goes out the back. Jackson with the grabber kick. Anderson there, he picks up the crumbs. It's going to be touched and goal there for the Hogs. They were very lucky there. Matt Galaxy was caught offside. The referee called him out and his arms went straight up. Um, and they are lucky that they didn't actually penalise him there for kind of putting pressure on the play. Uh, as a good kick though from Jackson. Deep drop out here to Anderson. Oh, bumps off one. Nathan Anderson, what a player he is. Just before the 30. Oh. Out the back door here, Marks. And straight through, but it goes to Killian instead. Inside ball, Murray. Up to the 10 here. The back's doing a lot of work there for the Firehawks. Goes Gould, and then Anderson again. Second run of the set in front of the sticks. Where do they go? They go right, it is. Cut out here to Marks again. Looking dangerous, getting wrapped up well there, though, on that occasion. Going left. Jackson takes the run himself, fifth tackle, good set here from the Firehawks, looking to capitalise on it. In the pocket it goes. My apologies, it's settled there to Berkeley. He's going to drive and he's going to get round up there again. Hand over there for the Hawks. Yeah, the Cairns Firehawks electing to use the big body of Berkeley there. He's the biggest 5'8 in the game at the moment. There's a hooker at uh, heart, but his kicking game is fantastic. That's why they moved him and it worked well for the Firehawks last week with their 30-12 uh, to 12 win over the Melbourne Ravens. They just tried to use him there and barge over. The Hogs saw it coming. They've obviously been out and done a bit of their homework. Here they have Zanderson at the dummy half. Long ball to Rashford and Callingham. Taking the run up there. Fourth tackle, 40 out. Early kick here by Pratt. Oh. Drives oh. it downfield. Oh. What a Oh, the bounce. Oh! It's gonna, oh! Putting a touch there by Cyrus Mark. Fantastic kick from Josh Pratt there. And it just held up for Marks, luckily, but his foot couldn't get away from it. And just great kick. Great awareness from Josh Pratt, seeing the fullback out of position. Um, and the hooker there just giving it to Pratt when he was calling for the ball. That's a good amount of trust uh, from the Perth Hogs and their spine. Well, what an opportunity here that's been presented to Perth. 10 metres out, first tackle. Short air offload, Callingham playing some settler passing at the moment. He had a dummy half. Going left, goes Keller. Keller oh. driving. He's going to be pulled up short there right in front of the goalpost. And out of dummy half, Anderson gets driven back there. Fourth tackle here, dangerous stuff here for the Perth Hogs. My Watch cousin, my cousin. He started off well. <gasps> he's driving. He's there. My cousin, the green hair in full flight. We're going to go up to the bunker here, though. Yeah, no questions about that one. I think we'll get the green light. And it's fitting for my cousin's green hair. 
That's a good try to start off the game for the Hogs. There's a fantastic kick from Josh Pratt that set that game, that play up. And it's working so far. I'd just like to mention real quick, the Perth Hogs with almost an entirely new uh, lineup. They've got Miko Rashford at the fullback, Noffel and Gary moving to centre. The props moving around, Bocicalupi at 5'8", Callaghan taking on the 7 jersey. And uh, it's James Anderson in at hooker with Maverick Keller playing lock. McDade and Cox off the bench now. I think maybe this is the outfit that they want. Taken pretty much all season for them, but if they can keep some players looking forward to next season, that could be a force to reckon with. Mike Miko Rashford being the quickest player on the park here today at Barlow Park. Berkeley there putting the ball onto the tee, can, looking dangerous early. They'll give them an amazing opportunity, the Firehawks. They couldn't capitalize, and the Perth, Perth Hawks came away six up here with 10 minutes gone. Yeah, and the Hopefully Hogs here. There. They want a good set in return. They just need to try and get down this opposite end of the field. Maybe put in a cheeky kick from Pratt again. And he's got a big boot on him. And uh, just see what they can try and come up with in the field position game. Yeah, and there's Nuffling Cowie in the centres, which was already mentioned, I believe, by Kay. And then Daly here spreading the ball, gets driven back in that tackle there. Good defence here from the Firehawks. Fourth tackle going left. Early kick here. It's a bit of a crossfield kick. It's going to land on the 30. It's going to pull up. Marks, he takes it. He gets rounded up there on the footy. On the 40. Good kick there. Yeah, it's a fantastic kick there. And just letting it to bounce. The, the Firehawks, they need to get to these balls on the full. Otherwise, this Hogs defense line looks like they're rushing up on the kick chase so far. Yeah, good tackle there. Backing up again from the start of the set. Playing short and conservative here. That's a good ball, though, there to Quinton Cotter. The man offload even better. Oh, knock on here. And then turn over here to Bryce Young. Yeah, Bryce Young, he actually just got his head in the way of the ball there. I don't know if it was deliberate. Referee let it play on regardless. And he's just picked off that pass. Good stuff from the second row there. Boyd's just dismantling this Firehawks defense. Buckley with the run there. And then Offlin Gowie looking to try and keep this... X fullback involved here for them. And going right here, goes to Buckley again, winding up second run of the set. 30 out, fourth tackle. Markers offside. Oh. They go left. Oh. My cousin knock on. He picks it up. Scrums. Still fifth tackle. Ref says wasn't touched. Bit of confusion there though. Looking to compose themselves here. The Hogs going right. He goes the Glippy. My apologies there. Taken on no by Nofflin Gowie there and rounded up on the 20. Yeah, Bocha Gallupi, he got a very, very shallow kick there. And uh, he's, his first time in the six jersey. He was playing lock last week and playing off the bench for pretty much the rest of the season. I think he's probably just a bit nervous playing in his normal place. At home is Rashford now with chasing down Marks. There's nobody there. Marks, though, gets round up there by Rashford. He wasn't on the spot, but he got there eventually. 20 out, second tackle. Going left sharp. Winding up here, the big second row up to the 10. Wrapped up there by Anderson. Going left here by the looks of it. Cut out ball here. Daly gets rounded up. What a tackle that is. The defensive work on this side for the Hogs has been on point early this evening. And it goes sharp again, winding up. There's nobody there. Around the legs they take him. Fifth tackle, 75 gain. The rest wanting to have a look at this though, Kay. Yeah, the ball didn't look like it went down at all. I think he's just making sure... That when he was on his back, it didn't slip over the back of his left shoulder there. There you go. The red light, no try. They'll go back out to the 10 to play the ball on the last. Last chance here. Fifth tackle, as he said. Berkeley, big bomb here. Oh. Take him. Not oh. back. Galaxy. Second game of hooker. And he's going to get a try here for the Firehawks to possibly tie it up. Fantastic try there from Galaxy. He still had a bit of work to do once that fen... Uh, once that... Tap back happens. So he was offside for the kick. Got back behind the kicker. And then fended off Bruce Buckley. Sliding in. It's a second try in two weeks. Fantastic move, I think, for Galaxy into that hooker roll. No, definitely. He's just been involved in a whole different way here for the Firehawks. Just being able to use his passing game, but also his running game a lot more effectively. As you know, they do create momentum really well here, the Firehawks. And what a man to have at dummy half to continue on with those plays of the balls as Berkeley converts. It's six all here, Barlow Park, 18 gone. Yeah, Berkeley slotting it over there, six all. 
as the sun begins to set up in Cairns. The Perth Hogs, they won't be used to this heat, but the rain is no doubt probably helping them um, helping them with their stamina and their fitness. As we see, Callingan's going to kick it off here. Gets this underway. Six all the score. Marks takes it there and it goes to Cotter. Up over the 20 here. And at dummy half, that man Galaxy, the previous try scorer. Jackson out here to Gould. How good's Gould been? Ever since he took over there from Pete Verreto. There's been no drop in standards of performance from him. And it goes out here to Cotter, up to the 40, driving two on him there to bring him down. Going right. Jackson again. Waringman up to the 12, I should say up to the 50. And they're going right here, looking expansive. Murray, the center, good tackle on him. 42 gain, fifth tackle. And at the dummy half, Galaxy passing it out the back here into the pocket. Goes Jackson, big kick down field. He looking for a return. Andrews, what a kick it was. Gets rounded up there. The defensive work here from the Firehawks after that try has done them the wonder of good. Yeah, that's a, that's a good kick return from Harris Andrews, though. No discredit to him. He's still got about 20 metres off it and just put his team on the front foot for this set. Uh, they'll be hard done by to get out of their half here. I think the Firehawks line is definitely going to be rushing up on them. Yeah, the Firehawks looking like that they're aware that they're going to be outgunned in open space if anybody does get into the open. So wanting to keep this oh. defensive line early kick there and turn up, picks up the crumbs. Interchange forwards on here at the moment, and what a way to start his, his stint. Yeah, not a good kick from Bochica Luppi there. It didn't look like it had enough power at all to get anywhere past the 50 meter mark even. I think he'll be disappointed with it there. He's probably just a little bit nervous in that six jersey, I think. Looked like a bit of a missed strike there from him. Then Matthews, another one of those forwards, or interchanges onto the field here for the Firehawks. Going right here. Jackson again running the ball. He's been doing that a bit early. Fifth tackle though here. Galaxy in a dummy half going left it is. Out to Berkeley and Berkeley drills it up into the corner. Ten out it lands. It wasn't deep enough at all. Daly takes it there. It's going to be a hand over here on the ten. Yeah, good kick. Um, good take from Daly. He just needed the kick to be way deeper. We know that he has the ability to get above players. Especially out on the wing as we talk about the wing. Josh Pratt's going to go down the sideline now. Yeah, sort of stop and start there for Pratt up to the 40. He pulled the Joey Manu him. there. <laughs> oh, he did. Holding that the knee, as they said. Bryce Young coming up to the 50. Third tackle here going left. Goes here to McDade. McDade up to the 40. And then dummy half Anderson. Going left. It goes my cousin. How good has he been so far? Getting the first try here for the Hogs. Fifth tackle, though. 25 gone. Going left here, goes all the way out to Boccia Gallippi, and then Murray picks up on the crumbs, gets around one. My cousin's there again. End of the set, and he's going to start the set here for the Firehawks with the tackle. Yeah, another bad kick from Boccia Gallippi there. I don't know, maybe he's been watching the highlight reel of uh, Dominic Stramandinoli. But it, yeah, it's not been impressive so far. He was a lot better last week in the lock jersey. He definitely was there. He's still warming up to it, though. Still plenty of time to get his game on. As Murray gets around one, takes on Rashford offload to Matthews. Beautiful razzle dazzle footy here from the Firehawks at home at Barlow Park. Going oh. left here by the looks of it. Stra oh, big hit there, picked up. Bryce Young, what defense that was there from the Hawks. Yeah, good, ki good hit there. There's a rare hit off the ball for Filippo Gould. Not many people can fold him like that. But coming out of the line, I didn't see who it was from the Hogs. Just put an absolute shot, got him under the ribs while he was reaching for the ball, and it just spilt loose. Easy for uh, Buckley, I mean, for uh, Young to go and clean up the crumbs. Rashford there, taking up the run. Fourth tackle, early kicker by the looks of it. Callingham to take the oh. duties this time. Oh. Big kick downfield. Oh, it's out in the full. Oh, no. That's an interesting one there. I think it's just hit. On the line, it's a big call from the touch judge. And that will give the Firehawks a good uh, setup to put some points on the board. We're not going to get a good camera angle on it there. Uh, the camera's all too quick there for them. Matthews are winding up here. Matthews wrapped up there. 
The 15 going oh. right here. What a hit that is there on Jackson. He's not going to be running anytime soon after that one. Going left here though. Gould, Turner. Turner here, left hand side of the goal post. They go that way as well. Inside ball here. Looking for it though. Gould gets wrapped up. He's going to go all the way, Gould. Flying locked there. Purple air and full fly, one on one. You're not going to stop him. It's going off as no try here though. Barlow Park. You can't hold him out one on one like that. Yeah, unfortunately, McDade didn't get any help with that tackle there. And he just stood no chance against the big Filippo Gould, the half, trying to get under him. He put a shot on him earlier, but he just couldn't get under him in that one. And Gould just used his big body, twisting and turning to get the ball down there. Indeed he is. And what a game we have on our hands here. Okay, both teams competing for each other. Last game of the round, 10 minutes to go in this first half. Berkeley looking to make it six to difference as he does straight over the black dot here. Six to difference. Yeah, the Firehawks, they need to be sharpening up because currently it's the all the Hogs really. The scoreboard doesn't reflect that, but the Hogs have been quite dominant in this uh, half so far. If they're going to go to the finals, they're going to... They gotta face some great teams. They gotta face either the Ravens, the Swarm, or the Blue Tongues. All teams that have the potential to beat them and have, if not already beat them, come very close to it. It'll be an interesting one coming up. Yeah, indeed it will be, as both teams have something to fight for. The Hogs wanting to get their first win of the season and ruin the Firehawks' oh. chances of getting an easy way into the grand final as Anderson there picks up the crumbs. 40 out. What an opportunity this is for the Hogs to. Get some payback here as my cousin wants to start it with a run there. Good stuff from him. Looking right here, the Hogs. Goes off here to Keller, winding up the big 13. You're not going to stop him, but he's a hooker playing out of position. He's done an amazing job this year for them. As Rashford there looking to wind up as well. He hasn't seen any space at the moment, Rashford. They're going to be wanting to get him to it. Marker's offside. He goes Keller again. Up to the 10. 18 metres gain. A half very good defensive set here from the Firehawks and look for a good kick. Oh, grab a kick to be in fact. And it's going to be picked up. Rashford, we've been talking about him, not finding any open space. He slides through a gap there, point to the spot, the ref. Get around him, boys. Miko Rashford starting in his fullback jersey here today, and what a show he's putting on. In the fullback jersey tonight, that's a better kick from Botchagol. He has found his confidence, and Rashford running onto it, steaming onto it with his speed and his agility. No one was going to get in front of that ball but him. Fantastic play from the Hogs. Indeed it was. Rashford there getting the try. That's hoping to tie it up with the kick here, though. That will decide it. Six to play here before half time. Callingham, what a kick this is here. He's looking to start it off to the left here. Over the black dot. All cool calm collected there from him. Every point counts here. Still anybody's game here, Kay. Yeah, just fantastic stuff from both sides. The Hogs, that was a brilliant play, and it all came off the back of James Anderson, starting in the hooker role for the first time in the season, just reading that play to perfection. And that is really what got them uh, that field position and capitalized it off of it. They got just over five minutes left in this half, it be interesting to see what either team can come up here before the halftime hooter goes. Yeah, Cox there with a return. The forwards here haven't seen much ball, but just going back to that try before half time, the ability and just the awareness of Rashford, knowing that the kick's going to be there. He's never played in that fullback jersey this season. And the combinations between those two players, Bocha Gallippi and himself, are already looking on point, though. Oh, Young inside ball to Rashford. Here's that man again. Marks a fullback. He's slowly pulling away though. Marks holds it with him up to the 30. Fourth tackle here, looking to, an amazing opportunity here though for the Hogs. Keller winding up, 71 meters gain. What a set that is here from the Hogs. They're looking for a good kick. Batch of Glippy again with that. It's nobody's looking, wanting to take it there. Bounces, oh. Marks, driven in goal here. They're going to have another chance here, the Hogs, before half time. Beautiful kick from Batch of I've been bagging him a little bit. But boy, has he proven me wrong. Fantastic kick there. Just, the Hogs, I mean, the Firehawks, they had no clue what to do with it. 
It was just twirling in the air. A big torpedo bomb. And no one wanted to take it. Brilliant stuff from the half there. The Hogs looking to capitalise on that error there from Marks. Not taking it on the full when it was in the end goal. Rashford there taking the run. Inside ball here to Keller. Winding up. Just gets tackled before the 20 out from the opposition's line. Going left here. Out the back. Young. Settler there to him. It's now and ever here for the Hogs to go up. Leading at half time. Going left. It goes McCuzzy up to the 10. Last tackle. This is it. Who's going to be taking the kick? Slowing the play. The ball down. Comes out from Anderson here. Oh. Watch a glip here again. The grab a kick. Nofflin Gowie dives there short of the line. Just a little bit short there. Nofflin Gowie almost got a try in the centre jersey. And geez, if he just. I reckon three inches forward and just held that ball before diving. He would have been fine. But that's a halftime hooter there, Eddie. Halftime here at Barlow Park. 12 all the score. Cairns, Firehawks and Hogs will be back with you here just after this break. Welcome back here to Barlow Park. It's a tie ball game between the Perth Hogs and the Cairns Firehawks. What a game they've put on for us here in that first half here, Kane, the last round of the Mines. Who's looking to take it all the way here in the second half? Well, I think it's the pride of the Hogs that will prevail. That last 10 minutes or so was very good from them. And they were just playing amazingly. Uh, Bocigalupi looking more confident with his kicks. We'll see how he goes in the second half. And uh, whether the captain Maverick Keller had some words of inspiration for him. Uh, Yigo Mikazi playing very well for the Hogs. He's topping the run meter leaderboard with 85. A uh, line break and a try to his name. Fantastic stuff from the second row there. The big green haired freak will be looking to uh, capitalize on his first half performance and really get better, even better in the second half, I guess. Yeah. So we'll see how they go here, the Hogs. The Firehawks here, though, starting off well with the good first set, getting good oh. meters. Galaxy straight through, pulling away. Matthew Galaxy, there's nobody there. Gets wrapped up on the 10. The hooker winding up. He got past Rashford. Nobody in sight. Fifth tackle here, though. He's going to take marks out of the play. Berkeley, crossfield bomb oh. here. Who's there for it? Andrews, cool, come collected, takes it there. Good take from Harris Andrews there, and a fantastic run from Matt Galaxy. He's got a bit of pace him. He didn't realize how quick he was, but uh, I think it was Pratt getting him eventually. Maybe it was Kelly getting him eventually. Good stuff there and just defending their uh, hearts out. Firehawks here wanting to back up that attacking set with defense. Second tackle. And they're already up to the halfway here, the Hogs. They need to be better at that. My cousin, that man you've been talking about. Starting off where he left off in the first half there. Going right here. Callinghan out here to Rashford. Dangerous stuff here. Wrapped up on the 35 out from the opposition line. Going left, the Hogs. Goes Pratt. Out here to Keller. Gets around one. Wrapped up 25 out. Looking for a good kick into the corner here. Goes Keller. Or bomb rather, in fact, here to Marks, who takes it there. No trouble. Gets around one. That's a good kick chase there from the Hogs. 
Yeah, brilliant kick chase there from the Perth Hogs. They'll be looking to keep the Firehawks down this sand and just apply that pressure onto them. We've seen it a couple times in the match where they've just had really, really good defensive sets and the Firehawks have thrown a wayward pass or such a thing that's given them an opportunity to strike. We'll see how this one goes for them. Sharp there taking the run up to the 40. Uh, nearly up to halfway here. Early kick here by Berkeley. Drives it downfield. He's not going to have the angle on it, but he's going to get some good meterage. The chase is coming. Rashford, Rashford's got to work his way. What a chase there on Rashford. And even better there from Berkeley. Beautiful stuff. And I think the most important thing for the Firehawks is making sure Rashford does not make a line break. Same thing with Harris Andrews. Both players very fast. We saw before when Rashford made a line break. And there was lucky to be another player there because if he could, he would have just legged marks. He just wouldn't have stood a chance. And they need to be careful if he gets in a bit of space. If they do get into space, they want to watch where he does. And it's down the sideline. That's going to be in the Firehawks' favour. They just need to use it as his own worst enemy. In the middle of the field, that's a different story if we see him just wind up, though. Going left, Pratt there with the kick. Downfield's going to be Killian, I believe. Daly, my apologies. Daly nearly... Gets through a gap there, quickly closed as it did open, tackled on the 35 here. And sharp there with the run up to the 40. And going right, it goes Berkeley out the back to Anderson, bumps off one, up over the halfway, he flies. Oh. Out. Galaxy going for a scoot, straight through, offload, Cotter doesn't lose anything there, actually gets an extra meter or two, going right here by the looks of it. Goes Gould and out Jackson out to the wing of Killian. Gets around one. Killian Rashford at the back there. He's going to be taken out of this play. 57 gain. Fifth tackle in the pocket. Galaxy passes it. Dummy half out the back. Jackson. Cross field bomb here. Who's going to be there for it? Knock back. Marks. He's going to be tackled there. Five out. That looks to be Jack Jimmy, I believe. No, my apologies there. It's going to be Bryce Jesse Young. Kelly. Bryce Young making oh, Bryce the tackle Young, there. Apologies. Fantastic stuff on marks to see uh, where the ball was going and what the play was. Young just coming across and making the tackle, saving probably what was destined to be a try for marks as Keller now through the line. Yeah, Keller, that's what they've been missing. The lead forward to get them out of trouble, and he's starting that here, going left. My cousin winding up as well. That's a good set out of trouble here for the Hogs. Mark is offside. Anderson not looking to capitalize on that. Watch a glippy Rashford, Callingham. There's a bit of space there, didn't take it. Fifth tackle though. Good set there for them. Looking for a good kick here. Anderson out, dummy half. At the back here goes Pratt, driving it downfield here to Daly. Let's it bounce. It might be a bit too deep. Daly takes it otherwise. Daly gets around one and then wrapped up there on the 11. Yeah, good stuff there. A good kick and just letting it bounce into the end goal. The Firehawks are getting a little bit risky with their plays. They just, like I said, need to take these on the full because as we see, the Hogs are punishing them when they don't. Uh, they need to get every single bit of momentum that they need here, the Firehawks, and they're not doing that for themselves. Sharp winding up here. Bit of a block, block play there. Fourth tackle. Looking for the early kick here. Goes out here to Berkeley. Runs it otherwise. Fifth tackle. Just didn't have enough time for it there, but there's the kick. It's Gould there with it, drives it downfield, Rashford on the fully, they need to watch him, they need to watch him and good tackle there on him. Yeah, good stuff on Rashford there, they've been good containing him so far, I think that the Firehawks during the week have definitely had it drilled into them how good Rashford is, and seeing that he's moving to the fullback jersey, uh, that they needed to really contain him in this one. Yeah, Justice Daly there with the run, Anderson in at dummy half. Hitting the ball up here, settler to Keller. Going left here. Another settler here to Daly again. Getting those, getting that workload in early. Fifth tackle. Going left. Watch a Gallippi. Dri driven down here to Keller. I should say Killian, my apologies. Gets around one Killian. Wrapped up there, though, at the back there by Rashford. Good save there from the fullback. Yeah, the PNG International, Hugh Killian there. Doing another great line break. Uh, off a kick return. He's an aerial weapon archetype, but he's just very good at stepping around and getting those meters off a kick return. 
I'm sure that uh, he have a couple SRL clubs looking at him, no doubt. Definitely, Berkeley there taking a run. Goes out the back, Gould. Ball playing to Jimmy. 35 out, fourth tackle. Firehawks looking dangerous here. They're flat-footed, forward pass. Daly picks up the crumbs. The ref's going to say knock on, no advantage. And they're going to play the ball here on the 40. Yeah, I really, really wish that the referee played that one on there. I would have loved to see Daly in full flight. But he claimed that play had breaked down. And I don't know if I agree, but never mind. As we've got the Hogs trying to campaign down this uh, left edge here to try and get some Andrews, meters. Oh. Straight down the sideline. And he goes in a touch. They didn't need that, the Hogs. The pressure's just been relieved here for the Firehawks. Yeah, it was a good tackle from Callum Murray. Just bringing him over the sideline, and he just got a foot into touch. He disappointed with himself there. Galaxy to get the Firehawks underway. Ghoul trying to get them out of the trouble, set the tone for this set. Going the same way, Cotter again, the forwards. It's all the forwards here at the moment. The one-two punch here for the Firehawks, it looks like. Going that same way again, it goes to Sharp there in the second row, our third tackle. Going to Berkeley, winding up flat-footed, just takes the ball himself. No hospital passes here, he says. Going left here, though. Cut out to the winger, and Daly gets wrapped up there on the halfway. Fifth tackle, 30 gain. Good defensive set here from the Hogs. They're looking for a good kick here, though, the Firehawks. Berkeley drives it downfield. Rashford, he's a bit slow getting there, but he just gets there on time. They need to watch him. Gets around one, Rashford. And Cyrus Marks there on the spot. Yeah, Rashford, that's a better kick return from him there. They need to be very careful with that one, though, because they can't leave it all up to Marks. He just doesn't have the speed to even get near to competing to Rashford. He doesn't, and backing up there again, Rashford. He wants the ball. He wants to find the space. He wants to be in, in the clear here for the Hogs. Cox there driving it up over the halfway. Get back, look at me. Anderson dummy half going left. Settler. Oh. Here's my cousin smashed, and Gould picks up the crumbs. 15 to go here at Barlow Park. Yeah, it looked like it was Nathan Anderson putting the shot on, and it was a big one on that. My cousin coming up with a rare ball carrying error. As now Sunny Sharps breaking tackles. The Firehawks, they may be in for a, a bit of a show here, and the Hogs may be in a bit of hot water. Hogs, what a show they're putting on. What a game. This is going to be one of their best games of the season looking to be for them. Hopefully. Going right here, though. Anderson winding up. It's still a tight ball game. 15 to go left in this game. Anything could still happen. They're going right, though. Murray wanting to be the man that makes something happen. Gets tackled there on the 10. Nothing doing. Fifth tackle in the pocket. Goes Turner. Bomb across field here in front of the sticks. T tap back, Marks. Oh. Marks, he breaks a tackle and he's in. The fullback has made his mark and showing who's going to take the Firehawks all the way here today. Yeah, that's a fantastic try from Cyrus Marks. He still had a lot of effort to do. Breaking a tackle, Lachlan Cox brushing past Bryce Young after a good take and just diving over the line. He'll be happy about that one there. Just under 14 minutes to go left in the half. Can the Hogs come up with something to send it to Golden Point? There's still time here, though. It's all dependent on this first defensive set. But before then, Berkeley with the kick, looking to make it six the difference. Straight over the black dot here for him. Six the difference here, Barlow Park. 13 left to play here. There's still plenty of time for either team to win it. But it's the Firehawks in front. Kelly yeah. in there, putting the ball onto the tee. Sorry there, Kay. To cut you off. 18-12's the scoreline. Callaghan looking to put a deep kick in, probably. Still got plenty of time. They need to apply the pressure here. Hopefully force an error and get points on the board. I think it's going to be Rashford, the man, to score a try. Cotter there, winding up there on for back fence. They're not leaving anything in the tank here. The Firehawks, by the looks of it, good tackle met there on him. It goes here to Anderson again. They're just using the forwards, and that's a better run there from him. Close contact meters there. Going left. Goes here to Sharp, winding up. The Hogs here, they need to keep them in this end. 
We're going the same way. Cut out here. Daly, that's a better tackle there on him. Fourth tackle. In the pocket here, Berkeley looking for an early kick here. What? Driven downfield. Oh! Rashford. There he is, Rashford. Oh my god. <laughs> Belted in that tackle. Either way, what an opportunity this is here for the Hawks. I felt that tackle made up in the commentary box. The glass, there's a couple of cracks just appeared all of a sudden after Rashford has absolutely smashed the speed he was running. It was like a car crash out there. There's 10 minutes left on the clock. Second last tackle. Fifth now. What's going to happen, Eddie? We don't know. They're about to tell us here. K though. 10, 10 to go in the pocket. It goes Boccia Gallippi. goes left. The big bomb up. Oh. Taken by Andrews and taken there on the five. That's all right. They've still got plenty of time left in this game. It's not over yet. They've probably got another set at the very least. They need to meet it with a good defensive effort here. And maybe they can get down this end. Once again, they just can't let any line breaks happen. Potter there with a run. They need to just hold them here and force them to the early kick. And hoping for that missed contact kick there from Berkeley or just somebody. They need to force an error here, the Hogs. They need to put the pressure back on. And just forget about the scoreboard pressure and just relinquish the momentum that the Firehawks here at the, have at the moment. But early kick here, Jackson drives it downfield. Where's Rashford? He takes it on the full. They need to watch him. Stand still start there, and that's a good tackle on him. That is a good tackle. They may be hard done by here, the Hogs, to get some meters. They need to just drive it, put it through the backs even, and get on the outside and just try and get those meters because... They don't have a lot of time left. Um, and the, the six down at the moment. They need to just really get down this opposite end. Because they've already spoiled the opportunity for a 40-20 kick now. Mark Huzzy takes it up over the halfway. Spreading the ball here. Rashford. Oh, he's just not he, he's not able to do it here for them. Six go, six to go here. Fifth tackle goes out the back here. Callingham drives it downfield here to the PNG International. Hugh Killian. Gets around one, Killian, Rashford's there. Big tackle needed to be made here, he does. And they've given away a lot of meters here, the Hawks. An inspiring run there from Hugh Killian. And he's got his team a good amount of meters. The Firehawks looking, maybe now they want to put some points on the board and just put this game to bed. Wanting to put it bed as you did say there, Kay, though. Slowing the play of the ball down here, Galaxy going left. Switch play here, though, to Cyrus Marks. Well read there from the Hogs defense though. Up to the 30 out. Turner winding up. Fifth tackle here. 57 game. What a set that was there from the Firehawks. In the pocket it goes oh. Berkeley. Low bomb here. Nobody wants it. Andrews though. He takes it. Taken there on the 10. It's 80 meters. Actually it's more. It's more like 90 meters they got to run. And they don't make any meters there. They need... Something incredible here, the Hogs. They need a miracle. Yeah, you've got Mikazi puts his hand up here. He's still going, Mikazi. Nofflin Gowie takes it. There's two left to play here at Barlow Park. The outsiders, the people who weren't predicted, had no chance. Mikazi there again. Fourth tackle going right. It goes here. It's oh. Rashford. Rashford around one. He's going. He's winding up. At the back there, it's now a nothing here. 20 out in the pocket here. It goes Callingham bombs a big bomb downfield here. Oh! He said there, Jackson. Oh! oh no! We need a replay here. I'm not sure if there was a knock on or it was batted back or taken into touch though. We're gonna have a quick look. Hooks to the bomb goes up there. Everybody was on side. It just looks like it'll be taken into touch there. Flag in the air. That's going to be the story here for the Hogs. Well, that's a disappointing way to end the match. They had an opportunity there, the Hogs, but Harris Andrews just lost his footing and fumbled over the sideline. The Firehawks will just play conservative now and watch their game go past as they're going to secure a win and secure that grand final spot. Yeah, full time here at Barlow Park. The home for Cairns, Firehawks, getting them over the line. One try in the second half, deals the final blow here for them, coming out the win. The Hogs gutted at themselves there, went down to the death. 
Both teams dirty. They've been all over the place here. It's a wet game here up in Cairns game. Yeah, very much is. As we look at some of the statistics here, 18 to 12, the final score. Galaxy Golden Marks for the Firehawks and Rashford and Mancuzzi scoring for the Hogs. It was pretty even, though, in the statistics, eh? It was. Both teams, it was even all over the park. It just came down to who took their opportunities. Completions, they both had equal ball. Just some took more advantage of having it. So we move on to some more individual stats here, though. It's going to be the Firehawks here. Look at that, Matthew Galaxy, just continuing from where he started off there. 214 run meters, three line breaks, three tackle breaks. And the one try for him, what a game the hooker put in. Hugh Killian, he started them off out of trouble, which I believe got them that try to win it. Or maybe that was a bit later in the game, the 116 meters. Four line breaks to the PNG International. Berkeley, look at the kicking meters here from him. 209 all over the place. Cyrus Marks a bit quiet, but he did play his part in the win. It was a team effort here for the Firehawks, and what a game they put on. Yeah, it was fantastic stuff from the Firehawks and just pushing and pushing. As we look at the statistics for the Hogs here, Mika Rashford, 188 meters to his name, a try and three line breaks. Good stuff from him there. Anderson, 162. My cousin, 161 with three line breaks. That's two line breaks in that second half alone, but two errors. An iffy game from him. And no doubt very potent in attack, though. Yeah, what a game it was. Thank you for joining me here, Kay. It's the Cairns Firehawks coming away with the win, 18-12. to 12. We'll be back with you very shortly for the Swarm and Bathurst Blue Tongues. I'm Eddie Oliver, joined by the SRL Mines Commissioner. We'll see you then.